Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here for the introduction of a truck that many people have been waiting a very long time for, and this is one of them. This is the all new redesigned Toyota Tacoma, but guess what? We have the limited trim, but before we get into this new color for 2024, this nice, almost like a cherry kind of red, but also bringing some of that luxury, let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. So with the Tacoma being redesigned, this is a big thing because the Tacoma has been one of those sellers, especially out here in, on, in Hawaii, the different Hawaiian islands, Tacomas are top sellers out here. You see them all over the place. So this is why Toyota chose this location. Now, of course, when people are looking for a truck, whether it's a big truck or a smaller truck, like a midsize truck, not everybody wants the same thing. And that's something that Toyota really has put a pulse on is trying to find out what is a truck that could be there available for everybody. And that's why they have so many different grades of the Tacoma. The Limited is going to be geared more people who want a little bit more luxury. And that may surprise you. You think trucks, you think hardworking, you think rock crawling, you think climbing mountains. But guess what? A lot of people out there like to use that truck. That's their one vehicle. And it's not just about doing the work stuff. It's also about having some of that luxury to it and some of those other fine touches. So what I want to find out is there's lots of competition in this segment. I think one that really has upped their game for the new model year is GMC with, of course, their Canyon Denali. But let's see what Toyota's bringing at this segment of the truck. Let's dive in and find out, is the Tacoma Limited the better luxury truck to go? Let's find out. Right off the bat, the style. No matter which way you slice your Tacoma, you're going to get a new, totally fresh style. And I really think that with the Limited, they kind of sprinkled in some of those touches that people kind of associate with luxury. But let me show you what's going on here. That new headlight design, looking fantastic, full LED going on. You have your fender flares, color match, and I'm really, really digging on the Limited trim just like on some of the other trims, how they have that functional air curtain built into the fender flare. Working our way across the front, here's your first step into the limited specific touches. You have this chrome style finish. And what's nice about it, it's not too over the top. It's not like you're gonna need to have a pair of Tacoma sunglasses to block all the bling. I think it's a nice, tastefully done way of doing the chrome without going too over the top. You have that aluminum style finished Toyota badge, forward facing camera, so important, especially when you're parking in some of those tighter situations. You don't wanna mess up the pretty paint job on your Tacoma Limited. Working your way down, you're gonna get your LED fog lamps. And I'm actually liking how you have that same style finish on the mid portion of that lower bumper area. It really gives it a nice balanced look. Working all the way down on the bottom, everything is going to be flat black. You do have that air dam, obviously, for trying to increase your mileage and helping with the airflow. And even the way that they kind of made that bottom portion really kind of fit in, in alignment with the other grades kind of shows that connection across the whole Tacoma family. Now, when we get up onto the hood, super clean, but very strong lines. I love the way you got these two deep canyons, and you'll notice on a lot of trucks, they kind of just go towards the windshield and disappear. There's a little bit of a fine touch as it kind of hooks towards the edge of the hood and then evaporates. I really, really think that that's something that makes that front end of the truck stand out. Even on this corner, on both corners, how you have that rise there, and it's not straight. It's got a little bit of a bend to it. Really shows the attention to detail. Now, as we come around the bend, no matter which way you get your Tacoma, so many different wheels. Here is your wheel and tire setup on this particular limited trim. So of course you're gonna get that shiny chrome finish. Love the way they did like a V-spoke design all the way around. It's an 18 inch wheel, 265 on the width of the rubber, 65 series sidewall. And like I said, the best part is you get color matched all over the fenders. There are some luxury truck brands out there or brands of trucks that they're making luxury spec that don't have that nice body color all the way throughout. And especially on this fender flare, it's a very beefy fender flare without looking too over the top. I'll have Lori kind of swing in. Remember, on the different trims, they're gonna tweak the suspension to give you the type of ride that you would associate for that particular segment of truck that you're buying. And then another thing you'll notice is the iForce Max 
badge. That's something that's going to differentiate this truck from the other competitors is having that hybrid turbocharged power plant. Now you do have the shiny chrome finish on the mirror caps. We have our 360 degree cameras. You got your limited badge, tasteful, nothing too gaudy. Chrome on the door handles, but here's a something that kind of just shocked me when I walked up to this new Tacoma. I don't think I've ever seen this before in a mid-sized truck, power dropping running boards. So I think perfect, especially for those that are maybe a little bit shorter in your family or people that live in your life, they're a little shorter, just to have that ability. And they really come down nice and then it's all gonna tuck up super clean. That body line flowing nicely towards the bed, up top on the rear of the cab, that extension, with, of course, your shark fin antenna. And then one of my favorite things when it comes to the bed is right here. The body lines, as it comes off, angled into the fender, and then you're gonna get that nice composite bed. You don't have to worry about the kids denting it. You don't have to worry about any of the rust or any of that kind of stuff. Nice to have that, something that's gonna last the whole life of the truck. Little touches, the chrome style stainless steel tailpipe on the back with the Toyota badge. And then you're gonna love what they did on the tailgate area. You got your iForce Max badge. Remember, this is that movement towards zero emissions. And I think Toyota's doing it very smart. Instead of just going full EV, they're bringing out these different hybrid power plants. Still a lot to learn and appreciate with hybrid power. You'll notice your LED lighting. Love the way you got that nice kind of indentation up top. The Tacoma name. You got all your full tow capability down below. Love the way they did the rear bumper. And then one of my favorite parts of this new truck is right here, hitting that button and just having that nice electric drop. Super smooth, super clean, tie down locations. You got a power supply in the back. So if you, even if you're going to the beach and you have your one kid that really wants that big raft blown up, you could save the oxygen in your lungs so that you could live and you could plug in a nice electric air compressor to get that raft blown up for them and the LED lighting. But you know what? It's not just about the outside of a truck. Let's pop the hood and talk about power of this Tacoma yeah, Limited. We got the hood popped. Underneath the hood is gonna be that iForce Max engine. What are we talking about? We're talking about a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four hybrid engine, 326 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque, mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. It does utilize that tried-and-true nickel metal hydride battery pack, and you could tow up to 6,500 pounds with this setup. Nice to see a unique power plant different from the competition but why don't we go ahead we're talking about the limited luxury trim let's get inside and see what toyota's bringing right, guys we're inside this toyota tacoma limited trim i know you're wondering well joe what about price that's yet to come but when you're comparing this to the gmc denali the canyon denali let's see how it stacks up to the door panels you'll notice all of the nice soft touch material the white contrast stitching even the way they did that wood trim right underneath the armrest looking good. You got, of course, your Twinkie holders up top, your drink holders in the bottom, a total of three drinks, and the JBL sound system. Now, going from that sound system to the dash, Tacoma badge, real wood trim. So you could rub your wood after a hard day. Just watch out for splinters. Love the way they got the stitching. You got your standard 14-inch infotainment system. You could set up your whole Toyota Link, which this one has not gone through because this is a pre-production. And then up top, you do have, like the others that we showed, the removable GBL sound system, three stages of heated seats, three stages of ventilated seats, dual climate, and a heated steering wheel, toggle switches. This is going to control your eight-speed automatic. Let me shut that off because it's getting kind of loud. Wireless charging, USB-Cs, and a 12-volt. You do have your different modes, two cup holders, Soft material on the armrest with the stitching. Open it up. You get enough room in there for two signed baseballs. So when you're done playing with your balls, you can put them in there. And then the seats, soft text material, the stitching. I love the way they did this texture design. Electric assist for the passenger, driver, and a standard size sunroof. I'm going to zonk that. It would be nice to have a panoramic sunroof. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this Tacoma Limited. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Nice seating position, all the electric assist, especially that lower lumbar, really nice. You have your leather perforated and smooth on your steering wheel with the flat black on the buttons. And you have, of course, that 12 inch digital display. It's actually 12.3 inch with your different modes, with all that different information, including comfort and sport plus on the limited trim. 
Nice amount of space in here, but why don't we get into the back seat and wrap it up from Hawaii. All right, guys, back seat time in the Limited, that luxury feel. It is a little tighter back here than in the GMC Canyon Denali, but you do get the soft text material all the way around. You do have two cup holders, a home power source, two USB-Cs, and a pocket for your Abacus and a Game Boy. And then, like I said, seating position is pretty good. You can, of course, fold that rear seat with that JBL sound system, and you have that sliding rear cab window. I know you want to go on throttle, but we can't. We got to wrap it up. We actually have to wrap it up right now because we need to get in a van to take us back to the mainland, but we definitely want to thank the whole Toyota team for allowing us access not only to this Tacoma Limited, but all the other grades that they brought for this media launch. Let me know what you think. Is this Tacoma Limited hitting that pulse for some of those finer luxury touches in a mid-sized truck? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Of course, we need to give it to the hardest working camera person in the whole world. Lori working that camera like a champ. Thank you so much for your hard work. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.